Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today, the nail design is for all of my purple girlies out there who love purple because the whole set is purple and if you also like floral nail designs then that is just a bonus because that is exactly what today's nail design is. So I picked up two different shades of purple there, I'm just showing you one from Madame Glam, one from Blue Sky. And I'm also showing you a transfer foil which has been the inspiration behind today's nail design. I was digging through my transfer foils and I thought to myself, oh let me see if I can create a design strictly using the transfer foil, which isn't exactly what I ended up doing in the end. My idea was to use the transfer foil for every single nail but to do something different with it. So yeah, that was kind of my idea but I ended up going a bit rogue and <laughs> changing it up a little bit the more i was doing it the more i was liking the designs i'm not quite sure in the end if all of the different designs that i did create today match up perfectly but as individual nails i feel like all of them are very pretty and i just thought i would share with you guys the video anyways so i'm using the lightest shade of purple on the four nails and then the fifth nail is going to have that darker shade of purple that one's from madame glam and um, i've kind of decided to put myself on a little bit of a mission and start bringing out and using gel polishes that have been just kind of tucked away, not used and forgotten about. So Blue Sky has been a gel polish that I have not used for what feels like years. I did also recently film a video using a Glitter Bells gel polish which I also feel like I've never used before. I have used the Unbelievable Gels, you will know I love them and I will be forever using them but when it comes to the gel polish it's quite rare that I use them so that was quite nice to bring them out. It's just that you could say I found my favourite gel polishes so whenever I need a pink I just go straight to that drawer with that company in there and just use them. So I've been kind of trying to go searching for the same colours in different areas basically and try bring out the other companies and show a bit more variety on my channel rather than just the one company or the two and non-stop so that's why hopefully that's fine with you guys and you guys get to see a bit more of variety of different companies and maybe expose you guys to different companies that maybe you've never heard of and kind of see how they perform on nails and stuff like that so that'll be kind of cool so with this nail I'm just doing a thick line from one side to the other with that darker shade of purple and then curing it so now it's time for a matte top coat so i'm using my mccart matte top coat i'm already running out of it believe it or not like it's ridiculous how much matte top coat i've been using it's probably a sign to stop and start using glossies but it's just it just doesn't hit the same i'm sorry if you guys hate my matte top coated nails i'm so sorry but at least you get to see what it looks like glossy before it goes into the lamp because if you do a glossy nail design you will never get to see what it looks like matte unless you literally put a matte top coat on so I'm just matte top coating the three nails there that I've got kind of isolated from the other two. Um, and that's because we are going to apply transfer foil on those. But I thought it would be easier to top coat these first and then apply our transfer foil gel. And that's just basically going to make it so much easier and make the transfer foil transfer exactly where we want it rather than onto the tacky layer of the gel polish. And that's because we're going to only want the transfer in a certain area. So I'm going in with my transfer foil gel on this nail first. This was one of those nails that were not matte top coated. And I'm just going to apply across the whole nail. Make sure you want to do a thin layer. I find that it's quite quick that this gel polish ends up wrinkling up under the lamp. So make sure you go for a thin layer. This nail that we've done previously, that line going from one side to the other, you want to basically repeat that line underneath, but only using the transfer foil gel. And the matte top coat in this nail has actually made it so much easier to also see where you're applying the transfer foil gel. So that was actually kind of like a bonus. Um, bonus little trick there. <clears throat> Almost done. And then the third nail that we're going to have a transfer foil on can be a little bit tricky so you want to basically draw a heart and yeah it was a bit tricky I was actually quite shocked with how quickly I managed to do it because before when I was kind of prepping for this nail design and kind of doing it off camera you know actually creating it before I decided to film it for you guys I took a couple of couple, well, a couple was probably a pretty small word for what it actually was it took me a bunch of tries basically to achieve the heart that i wanted but um luckily yeah luckily the background is matte imagine having to draw the perfect heart on a shiny background it'll be so difficult to see when you're placing your gel polish it would have been just tragic so once you're happy color it in this is the bit where you really want to make sure you don't apply too much of that 
transfer for your gel. It can it can be very you can basically very quickly end up applying way too much and then it wrinkles. I've had that happen way too many times. Once you're happy then, pop them into the lamp and I'm going to pop them in for 60 seconds. Once they come out, they're going to be chilling in the background, just cooling down from that LED lamp before you work on them. Always do that, make sure you do that and make sure life so much easier transferring the foil over. So once that is chilling there, cooling down, we're going to work on the last matte nail that we have, that we haven't yet worked on. And we're going to apply that same colored gel polish. We're going to draw a French tip, we're going to colour it in, and then we're going to sprinkle on some glitter. So we're going to do a sugared French tip. I haven't, well, might have, but it feels like I haven't done them in a little while, so that's quite cool. So I'm just going to colour it in. If you want it to be a bit more time efficient than I was today, you can use the brush from the bottle. Or if you don't want to be time efficient, you can use your nail brush and just colour it in from your palette. Um, like I am doing today. You want to be very careful when you're next to the line that you've just drawn to make sure you don't wreck it. You don't want to wreck that. You've put so much time into it and making it perfect. The amount of times, once again, I've just been a bit too quick and then I smudge it or I kind of put my brush way too high and I go over the line and have to fix it. Ugh. I don't know. Tragic. <laughs> I think I even did it there, actually. Yeah, I did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Funny that I was just talking about that. I literally forgot that I did that. Oh, there we go. Fix it up. Fix it up quick. There we go. Fixed. Okay, so I'm going to bring out some glitter. So this is actually the darkest shade of glitter that we're going to use today because later on we are going to do a three-way glitter ombre. Or at least attempt to do it. <laughs> My first time actually attempting to do it, funny enough. I've never done one of these before. So just sprinkle on your glitter and then tap away in your excess and then pop that nail into the lamp so it cures in place. There it is. Right now it looks a bit mad, but once it cures, you'll be able to tap away any excess and then even use a brush to get rid of anything that you, that basically didn't stick. And then you'll have a nice crisp, crisp French tip. So now it's time for the transfer for your part. I have kind of sped up the video itself, but it was very easy to do. If it chills in the background, it's just so easy. Honestly, it's like, I feel like, I feel like nobody has ever said that before. I've never seen anybody talk about it and it's such a great little trick. I don't know if um people just don't know about it or what it is but if you have ever been struggling with transfer foils leave it chilling in the background and you literally have the best time transferring your foils i feel like you don't have to buy expensive foils to make them work basically majority of my transfer foils have either been from shein or aliexpress which you know are just affordable um places to get your stuff from and i wouldn't always say that you can get you know good quality stuff there but i've never had an issue with my foils never ever ever um, especially after trying this little technique. I feel like it's just understanding the product that you're working with. And then magically everything starts working. <laughs> so we're on the last nail now, just going to do a full cover. Ideally, you'd want to place a color in the background that is the closest shade to the transfer foil color although it would be quite hard on this one just because there is quite a lot of colors going on but you'd want to do that just in case any areas did not transfer um and if you know if you leave an area that didn't transfer if you have a gel polish that's very similar to the transfer foil then it wouldn't be that noticeable but i was pretty confident with my transfer skills um, and i went in with that light shade and transferred over there and luckily yeah everything worked out just fine um, but if you are a bit uncertain or you're not that comfortable with transfer foils, try and pick up either a transfer foil that doesn't have that much going on so you can place a background that is very similar or pick a background that is, I guess, just as similar as possible to a crazy transfer foil design that I've been working on today. So for this nail, I'm applying a glossy top coat and that's because we're going to sugar the glitter on top of this nail and making that top coat work as our glue. So this is my attempt, my very first attempt at a <laughs> ombre glitter nail design so i'm starting off with applying the darkest shade of glitter at the top i'm going to tap away any excess then i'm this is my only container that i ever use for glitter so unfortunately in between each sprinkles i have to basically empty it out fully and then re re redo it redo basically the whole process again with the other two glitters so I'm just going to pop that one away. I'm always somebody who will nudge my glitters and sprinkle them everywhere. So I <laughs> try to put the caps on as quickly as possible every time I'm done with my glitter. Then you want to sprinkle on the next shade of glitter. Basically on top of the other glitter and then up to the point where you want it to stop. 
and I'm hoping that because I kind of go over the glitter it kind of creates a fade for me <laughs> and then lastly the glitter unfortunately isn't the best choice the very lightest one that I've got um, the other two match up quite nicely. This third one unfortunately didn't. It was just a different type of glitter and everything. And it's the shade just didn't match up as well as the others did. But it's the only one I had basically. So I had to make do what I got. I did try to sprinkle on a bit over the other glitter as well to create that little ombre. I don't think it did the best of jobs. I feel like it kind of didn't ombre, kind of didn't. The whole point was that I was trying to not get a harsh line. And I feel like I don't have... I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like in some lightings I feel like I see a harsh line and some I don't. I'm not quite sure. But not to worry because we are going to apply some flowers on top of that glitter nail actually later on. So just in case you also don't feel like your glitter ombre worked you can basically cover it up with some flowers that we're going to use in just a sec. So I'm applying a matte top coat again on the three nails just to have a matte just basically to mattify that transfer foil that we've applied. I love applying matte top coat on transfer foils. Literally, it's the best thing. I just feel like the image pops up, like, way better when it's matte. <laughs> it might just be a personal opinion or it might be an actual thing. But in my opinion, it literally makes the design pop. Just like with stamping, I feel like when you matte top coat the nail, it just pops a bit more and makes it look better. So I'm going to use some of my black from Glitter Bells and Believable Gels. And I'm just going to outline the all kind of lines that we've did there so I'm just going to go over them and that cures tack free on top of the mat so that's why I picked up that one in particular and you also want to outline the hearts as well so I did that off camera because boy was that hard and I was trying to get the lines to be the same thickness and everything so that took some effort and time and dedication so I ended up having to do that off camera so now it's time for our crystal placements we've got a bunch of AB crystals and also these white flowers so for this nail here, I'm going to place a large flower in the center, followed by two smaller ones on either side. I was struggling to get them where I want them, but I've just in the end noticed that I was just placing it a bit too far into the glitter where my rhinestone glue gel was a little bit higher than that. And after I got them where I want them to be, I placed two AB crystals on either side and I ended up picking up slightly smaller ones than I would usually just to make the match up of the actual flowers because the flowers themselves were kind of a little bit tiny, a little bit small so I don't want to kind of make it disproportionate <laughs> so now it's time to apply our flowers onto the glitter nail so we're going to place two at the top um one large one small we're also going to place two at the bottom one big one small same thing it's just the top one is kind of positioned like diagonally pointing to the left and the bottom one will be pointing to the right hand side and then you want to go ahead and cure and then for this one right at the top of that darker shade that we've applied we're going to do like a cluster of crystals and flowers so i'm placing one big flower and then one small one and then in between there i'm going to kind of yeah do a cluster of different ab crystals i think i do end up off camera also applying some caviar beads i do also apply some caviar beads to the center of all the flowers that i've placed down but yeah did that off camera and I also ended up applying some caviar beads in between crystals on the heart nail, which we'll get to in just a second. But yeah, I believe I did that off camera too. So that was not included. We're almost at the end of the video and the design. Just one more nail left to jazz up with some crystals. So once you're happy, pop this one into the lab. I think I end up yeah placing one more just to cover it up. Here it is. Here's our heart nail. So I'm just going to place some crystals top right hand side. And then at the bottom as well, kind of pointing towards the left there. And um, if you watch me, you already probably know what I'm going to do there. But at the top, you want to place the largest crystal in that corner. And then place crystals on either side of that crystal. From the largest to the smallest, basically. Just follow that thing going on. I'm just kind of seeing... <laughs> Sometimes um, I switch up the sizes a little bit. Sometimes I don't follow fully... The largest to the smallest. What I mean by that, I sometimes skip sizes. So rather than going the next smaller size, I skip that and go to the next next following small, smaller size. Does that even make sense? I don't know. Because sometimes I feel like it's still too large and I want it to look a little bit more smaller on the edges. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. I feel like I'm just... I'm just not feeling it today, you know? <laughs> so um, I will finish that off. I will, like I said earlier, apply some cover beads there. And I'm also going to finish that bottom part as well. 
but we will do that off camera. So I will pop them into the lamp, cure these in place, and you'll see the final results now. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think. It's a bit of a mad one, I feel like. I feel like not everything matches exactly like I'd want it to, but I feel like they're still so cool as individual nails as well so hopefully if it's not a nice set to recreate then at least it gives you some ideas to do with purple gel polish and transfer foil <laughs> so if you guys liked this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'd love to see you all in my next video bye guys